There can be only one. Okay, I've gotten some work done on the big uh, eight foot hawk and uh, got most of this boxed in. Uh, figured out the shelf where the uh, elevator is going to go and uh, you know, just had to figure out where the hinge was going to be and that kind of stuff. Um, got a servo just kind of resting there. Got to put a shelf for it. Um, figuring out where all the electronics are going to go. I'm going to leave a big spot up front to put a bunch of lead in there. Just trying to figure out where everything's going inside before I close it up. I'm kind of switching between two or three materials here. Um, the, the outer is kind of this uh, squishy, rigid insulation. Uh, you know, it, you can squish it pretty easy with your hands, but it's very light. And then um, the formers here are a much denser, I think they're about two or three times the weight, but they're very rigid. Um, and then this is even a more rigid foam. Uh, this, this, and this are some really rigid foam right in the middle so I can tie everything together and the wing won't just rip out of it easy. Um, what else? Oh yeah, one of the reasons I'm going with two inch foam on the outside and then another two inch of foam here and I'm actually going to have two inches foam down as I'm actually going to, the top's going to be rounded a lot. It's going to have a pr pretty good curve so I need a lot of meat in there to uh, remove it but still have some structure so and plus that was the only thing Home Depot had that was eight by four sheets so I think right now this is about 35 30 dollars worth of foam um, a lot of these these ones I had free but uh, this and the wings over there all the, ma and the the major things, it's about probably $35 worth of foam so far. And I've primarily been using Gorilla Glue. That's about how much I've used of this bottle. And man, there's a big difference between a new bottle and an old bottle. This pours out like hot syrup, and that pours out like <laughs> honey. I don't know. It was a pain. But... Um, that's been working out really great, allowing me to set a bunch of things in place with weights, go do something back, come back in 20 minutes, and keep on going. So that's allowed me just to keep on going pretty quick. And it's really strong, and it's really good gap filler. So it allows me to not be precise, which allows me to be quick, and it uh, fills in my mistakes. So that's been really helpful.